two here with the Aegis Saber versus the Anvil Gladiator. So let's have some fun here. The nice thing about the Gladiator too is for a ship its size, it's extremely maneuverable. So what we want to do is want to close our distance into the corkscrew, into the rate fight, keep the pressure on as best we can, watch our distance against them. There we go. Into the rate fight again. Push hard, up strafe, hard, 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 hard. Here we go. Shoot where he's going to be, not where he is. Lots of shots on the gladiator. Push, 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 push. Come on. On target. And there it is. You got to get close. You got to get close in the saber. You got to get close. Okay, this is going to be a fun fight. We're going to disengage just for a second here. Get some speed. Look who's got us tailed. 2.5k anvil arrow. Let's spin around. Apply a little bit of back strafe here to keep our momentum up. Drop our speed to combat speed. Let him pass. Use my bottom thrusters to rotate so I can get myself around the corner nice and tight. Switch to shields because I got 84 shots in the mag. And start my run. He's going to have to close in if he wants to do a lot of damage to me. Again, into the rate fight. Shields. Yeah. There we go. Nice pull, pull, pull over. He needs to close right now. If he's not going to close, he's going to lose that trade. I've got plenty of hit points in the Gladiator. Pushing hard. Up strafe. Hard, hard, hard. Up and over. Reverse. Other side. Push hard again. Reverse. Other side. And fight, fight hard for that angle. Nice. Good flying from the arrow. We're going to re re reverse a little bit. Get our distance. Try to get our shields up while we have a chance. And keep on trying to fill it full of holes. Nice. Close my distance. I'm going to close up a little bit. Watch my trigger discipline. So he's right on top. Great positioning from the arrow. But unfortunately just not enough. Good fight arrow. Alright. So let's talk a little bit about kind of what was going on here. Uh, and things that we can improve on and also kind of walking through what the saber maybe should have uh, executed on. So again, larger platform like the Gladiator with not really the greatest turn rate. So we want to really be careful at the distances that we want to engage at. So right now we're sitting at about, eh, about 500. When he closes to within about three, 400 here, we're going to try and walk around him. There's no backstreet being applied right now. This is all bottom thrusters kind of pushing my way through right so we're going to try to get above his nose here roll a bit to the right like where i'm at he's giving me a top profile shot we're trying to force force with some up strafe to get back on target and there he goes a big thing that you got to understand guys is um the strengths of different ships right like the, right now the hurricane uh, sorry i apologize the gladiator has a crazy amount of hit points. So if you want to force your attacker into a trade, just like that Saber did, um, the Gladiator is going to win that fight, right? So you want to play to your strengths. What the Saber should have done was notice that I was trying to trade with him and used his bottom thrusters to get himself out of there, maybe reverse the direction of his roll or spin around or try to blow past me, which usually would be a better case scenario. In his situation, he didn't play his distance the right way and he was punished for it. So that's a little a word to the wise as you uh, fly your different ships around here. So into the next fight, we have an arrow versus the gladiator. This was actually a really good fight. Uh, the arrow was making a lot of really great Really smooth movements, translational. So here we go, using our corkscrew again, like I've said many times, to kind of take a couple shots at him, see what he's in, see what he's up to. Okay, take a look, 1.2k out, into a roll again. Looking at, uh, as you can see, right, a little bit of, a little bit of oscillation in my strafes. I'm not full, I'm not pulling up strafe the whole time. I'm, I'm kind of letting it drop down, then pushing it back up to create kind of a seesaw motion to help shake off damage. We're back into the turn fight here. Good throttle control to keep me in position. Again, forcing the trade. I mean, I can trade all day in the in the in the gladiator, right? So that's what I want to do. Here we go, making sure that our glide angle is in line with his as well. So we're canceling out his his movement. So I'm strafing up as well as him. 
um, always strafing in the direction that he's, uh, I guess you could say, drifting in. So right now we're applying some up strafe to kind of get us back in line. And once we've reached the level plane, we're going to go into a roll, shake off some damage, use our bottom thrusters here. And again, you can use the little, you can use the little, uh, I guess you could say stardust flying across your screen to kind of give you an indicator of like where your ship is actually drifting. So nice and close in like this. Again, matching his drift with my strafe. There's the cancel of motion, and there's the kill. Okay, so the arrow did a fantastic job, I must say. Um, but really what killed him there was he wasn't making enough movements strung together in quick succession to, to get me to shake off. If he had done a little more rolling and been a little more aggressive in his movement changes, then he would have been able to apply more damage to me without me really having to be able to hit him. But of course the problem with that is the more you move, the more you move your own pip too, right? So uh, it's easy to say it's very hard to do. So, all right, folks, that pretty much wraps this video up. I uh, hope to see you all out for stream. I hope you've learned something. I hope you were entertained. I was Avenger1. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to uh, press the little bell notification to get notified for all the late, like the most recent videos. So we do a video every single day. This was today's video. So I will see all of you folks out there. Keep training. Get shot down nine times. Get up ten. I was Avenger1. I'll see you next time.